hey guys it's shy so welcome back to my channel so got my natural hair out and if you hear any noise in the background i do have my english mastiff german shepherd mix roaming around and he is very nosy so um yeah his name is ace hi <laughs> So I didn't film this makeup look, but if you guys are curious in seeing a tutorial on this look, I can definitely recreate this. I did use three influencer collabs to achieve this look. So if that doesn't bother you, I would be more than willing to film that video. I love supporting my YouTube people. Today, I am bringing you a much awaited haul. I love the Sephora savings holiday event. It's right before my birthday, Sag gang. So I have two of my orders here with me. These are the boxes that we're gonna go through. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this because this is heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this smaller box. I picked up a couple products from Makeup Forever. The only product that I've ever tried from Makeup Forever is their matte primer and I swear by that primer but I decided to pick up the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This foundation says it is high resistant on skin, 24 hour long lasting, waterproof, sweat proof, and mask friendly. It's true to skin shades and it's co-created with their pros it's going to enhance skin tones with a semi-matte yet luminous finish. It says no color oxidation throughout the day. And this is ideal for normal combination and oily skin. And it is non-comedogenic. Okay, so I have oily skin. So I'm always looking for a matte or like soft matte foundation. I picked up the shade 4 and 6 Two, and the former shade is Y505 from their other, from the foundation they had previously. This is the foundation. I love the packaging. It's very simple. You get your basic bottle, but the top is a nice nude shade and you do get a pump without the lid. It's giving very much smash box to me, but the cap definitely helps elevate the look. On the bottle it says it's a undetectable stay true foundation. So I'm very excited to try this foundation out. I of course had to pick this product out. I'm definitely a powder junkie, okay? Because I'm oily, I'm always testing out different setting powders, okay? This is a highly recommended setting powder. And this is the Ultra HD setting powder. Inside you get a cute little bag that contains a powder puff. And this is the powder puff. So it does have that pointed edge, which is perfect for underneath the eyes. And that's great that it comes with the powder because the powder is a little pricey when it comes to Makeup Forever. It's a pro makeup brand, so I don't expect anything less. This is the powder that I picked up. I picked up the shade 2.0 in Banana. I love that it is a light yellow, so it's going to be great for baking underneath the eye and setting and keeping that brightness. I'm super excited to try this product out. Honestly, you're gonna hear me say I'm so excited about products because I am like, I have been eyeing some of these products for years and now I'm finally in a place where I can purchase them and, you know, and try them out for myself. Of course, do I need all of this? No, but like I said, it's my birthday time. I love to splurge on myself and honestly, I'm trying to get whatever I can to help keep this flawless beat. The last Makeup Forever product I have is the Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation and this is the next generation mattifying foundation that blurs imperfections 
for 12 hours and leaves a second skin finish. The formula contains the latest generation Flexi Fit Puzzle Complex, which adapts to the movements of the skin while also letting it breathe. Your complexion is left looking velvety and natural, never chalky. And this foundation is also water resistant for a long lasting matte look. I picked up the shade Y505. So this is going to be perfect for hopefully setting the skin. It comes in a case like this. And then this is the shade. And then you do get like a sponge type applicator. I will not be using this. I have powder puffs that I can use or just a brush. Um, but this shade looks really promising. It looks very similar to my Fenty powder foundation. I cannot wait to see what this powder does. I picked up a liquid eyeliner and this eyeliner I recommend for everyone. This is definitely my favorite, definitely a holy grail for me, but this is just a different shade. And that is gonna be the one size point made liquid liner. And this is in Busty Brown, okay? I just love the names of his shades for his line. All of the liners are waterproof, so you're not gonna have any issues with smudging or smearing or anything like that. So if you have sensitive eyes or watery eyes, this baby is not going anywhere. This is what the Point Made Brown liquid liner looks like. Now the black one is just all red, but because this is brown, you'll be able to differentiate the shades in your collection. I love that it has a section to hold for your to do your eyeliner and I like that it is brown here as well. So this next product I did try because I was so excited and it actually shipped in a separate box of its own and I don't understand why a whole box was for this one product but it is what it is. But this is the Cali Ray Luring Collagen Peptide Primer. So the packaging is really cute. And honestly, I purchased this because it is a Babs Beauty recommendation. I love a smoothing um, primer. I also love something that helps mattify. And she was talking about this primer, so I had to grab it. This is a clean, hydrating complexion primer, and it is a hundred percent post consumer recyclable paper box and bioplastic tube. Plus, it's upcycled plastic, bioplastic, bio it's cruelty free and it is a clean formula. I'm always just trying to use a nice blurring primer. I love, love, love my one size primer, but I have been using that baby and repurchasing her, and I think that it's time to try something new. And actually, this is the primer that I'm wearing on my skin right now, and honestly, it feels very similar yet so different to the one size primer but it's definitely a blurring feel it doesn't dry my skin out because it is more hydrating and with this primer you do get one fluid ounce and this is the packaging of the primer so it says it's a plumping hydrator pore eraser oil controller makeup replacer. So it is a clean blurring primer. So I'm definitely here for all of these claims and I will say it definitely helps smooth my face. It's hydrating yet it still controls my oils and I just look flawless. My skin feels refreshed. So I'm definitely really liking this primer so far. And that is the only product that I've used. Everything else I've been a good girl about not touching. Since we're on the topic of primer, I did pick up the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. The Sephora collection is 30% off. And this primer says, it diffuses the look of imperfections and it has ginkgo extract and 
stabilized vitamin E. Um, it says this silky whipped primer instantly reduces the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, and it preps the skin with a blurred effect. It's lightweight, non-greasy formula enriched with stabilized vitamin E and ginkgo extract known to protect the skin from environmental factors. It's vegan, paraben-free, fragrance-free, mineral oil-free, and non-comedogenic. It's for all skin types, including sensitive skin. And the packaging is made up of 31% recycled plastic. So we're definitely here for that. I'm excited, of course. I love a smoothing. Now, I don't believe that this is going to help with oil control. So I will definitely have to use a mattifying primer in conjunction with this. Another product I got from the Sephora collection is the Best Skin Ever Concealer. And I picked up a lighter shade. This is the shade 26.5Y. I do have two shades already of the Best Skin Concealer. I have the shade 34.5, which is a perfect... Um, under eye concealer and then I do have the shade 53.5 N and that one is just a little too dark and when I mix them you know it's um, not that bright so when I want that extra pop of brightness I have this baby to give me that extra pop and then the last product I picked up from the Sephora collection is the Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. I picked up the shade Amber. You do get a little sponge applicator with it. And this is the shade 50 Amber. So she's definitely looking a little light. So I might be able to use her to set underneath my eyes. I did pick up this to... Um, set all over my face but clearly she's a little light so i'll just use her for setting underneath the eyes i really can't be mad i ordered online and it's honestly deceiving i'm still hopeful to try this product out even though i got the wrong shade i can always exchange it for something else it's not a sephora haul unless you pick up one of these babies and i have the Fenty, okay, gloss bomb, and I picked up the shade Sweet Mouth. I've never used this shade. I usually purchase like the mini holiday kits. I really wasn't interested in the holiday kit this year. Um, I do like the mini sets better. All of the girlies here on YouTube rave about this particular shade. I've tried the shade Fussy. I've tried Fenty Glow. Um and the other shades that have been in the holiday kits. Um, but I've never tried Sweet Mouth. So this is what Sweet Mouth looks like. It's just that beautiful baby pink shade and it's very clear and reflective. This is the shade. It is a light baby pink color. I'm just gonna add that little bit onto my lips. I'm just going to tap her. Oh, she's cute. And I love how smooth these lip glosses are. It never feels sticky and it just glides on. So it's almost my birthday season. So I do like to splurge a little bit on myself. So I had to pick up this next item and that is the Forever Mood Candle. This is in the scent Soft Life, okay? I love the packaging. It's very nice. It's very luxe um, and it says soft life. It's the baby girl lifestyle, indulgent and addictive. When creating this collection, Jackie was inspired by her Nigerian Yoruba ethnicity. Those of you who don't know, when they talk about Jackie, they're talking about Miss Jackie Ina, okay, here on YouTube. Um, this is her brand. Um, it says, she believes it's important that Black art is represented by Black people. Partnering with rising Cameroonian fashion designer, Claude Kameni. Okay, if I said that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, and it says, 
with was the perfect match known for her bold colorful and dramatic runaway styles claude or claude i don't know claude often uses african and nigerian textiles and wants the beauty of the african continent to be seen by the world this is a 10 ounce candle or 283 grams you have a burn time of up to 65 hours it's a hundred percent natural coconut soy wax okay and this definitely means a little bit to me because i did a dna test i want to say about a year and a half to two years ago and i am definitely mostly nigerian and cameroonian blood ties to me so let's talk about the scent of this candle honestly you can smell it from the box you can smell it even more when you open it up and on the tab here it says tomorrow isn't promised enjoy now jackie ina and so that's very true tomorrow is never promised there is just so much loss and devastation each year so try to enjoy each year and make the best of it every moment that you can this is the candle it's definitely bigger than your standard bath and body works candle it definitely feels a lot heavier and it is a little bit more expensive so if you're trying to save some coin the sephora sale is definitely the time to purchase some forever mood candles because you do get a discount um and this smells so good it honestly when i smell this it's giving very much holiday it smells like gingerbread and normally i don't like spices or anything like that but it has a more sweeter smell to it like it has a little bit more vanilla in it it's definitely going to be perfect for the holiday season for fall i'm just so in love with it i definitely love nice like warm bakery um sweet gourmand scents and then i also like very fresh and fruity but they have to be sweet the next product i purchased is a more practical item and that is brush cleaner okay so this is the cinema secrets brush cleaner it's fast drying and this is the lemon scent this is the eight ounce brush cleaner they did have a bigger size but this size honestly lasts me plus i picked up another brush cleaner um in my next order um this is a rinse free quick drying formula it's clear so it's not going to stain your brushes like the blue one i never experienced any staining with my brushes with the blue cinema secrets but you know better safe than sorry and i love that this does have a light lemon scent to it the next product is a product i've been wanting for a long time and that is the danessa myricks light work one highlighter palette danessa myricks is a makeup artist and her work is so bomb and i'm definitely a highlighter junkie i cannot pass up a highlighter so i picked it up and these are the shades i honestly just love the names on here this shade is called like duh you have common sense piece of cake easy breezy no prob and smooth sailing so this is so cute i love when brands name their products it just gives you a feel it feels just more personable i'm literally dying to try this formula and that concludes the first box of products so i didn't pick up too much skincare normally i get all of my skincare products from ulta but i decided to splurge and i picked up the highly rated youth to the people superfood cleanser this cleanser is 100 percent vegan it's made in california it's skin for all um, and it says start here for healthy skin this nutrient rich gel so it's a gel based cleanser which i love is loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach 
to effectively cleanse the skin, remove buildup and pores, and balance the pH without drying. I've never tried this product, but it is definitely highly recommended. I do have large pores. I have oily skin. So I love that this kind of um, balances the skin without even using a toner. And it also helps get the dirt out of your pores without making your skin feel dry. So I love that. This is what the product looks like. So it's a clear like glass bottle. It does have a top, but you do get a pump. The next item I have, if you didn't want to splurge on the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and you're like, that's just too expensive, I highly recommend the Sephora Daily Brush Brush Cleanser. Um, this is honestly the same as the Cinema Secrets. It's fast drying, it's clear, it is a spray bottle. So honestly, what I do is whenever I run out of this, I will fill it up with the Cinema Secret just so I can spray my brushes and then apply. Some people like to dip the brushes into the solution, but you don't need that much to coat it. So yeah, if you're on a budget, definitely pick this up. I picked up two and they last me a long time. Um, I do my makeup about two to three times a week, so um, these still last me a good while. So definitely try this out if you're just trying to save some coin. And these are 30% off during the Sephora sales. The next product is a skincare item, and this is a Babs Beauty recommendation, and this is the Freck Beauty Rich Bitch Moisturizer, okay? I just love the name, okay? It's really cute. And this is a Cactus in Vitamin C Moisturizer. It just says like rich bitch on it. Like, you know, if you're not into like cuss words, that's fine. But I'm definitely trying to feel like a rich bitch, okay? I'm not rich by any means, but I want to feel like one. And it says, this is a light yet rich ultra moisturizer of your dreams. You can use it morning and night, pat a small amount of it between your fingertips and press it into cleansed skin. Freck is a cruelty-free and vegan company. They do not test on animals. Our products are free from phthalates, parabens, gluten, and alcohol. This is the product. It is a tube. Um, normally my moisturizer comes in jars, but I do like you're able to squeeze this and to be able to control the amount of product that you get out. So I'm excited to see what this baby is gonna do to the skin. I told y'all I love, love, love me some one size beauty. So this one, I was torn between picking, okay? I was either gonna get the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but I ultimately picked the one size holiday setting sprays. This is the Glam On and Lock In On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. You do get two 3.4 ounces of setting sprays. So these are the full size setting sprays and you get two of them. So it is a great deal. So I had to pick this up. I love that it's an aerosol. I love the packaging and it definitely keeps my face locked in. This is the setting spray that I am wearing on my skin. So it doesn't leave it dry or cakey. Um, it just really locks in the skin and helps you look flawless. So I definitely recommend this setting spray and I'm so glad it came in a bundle. Okay, one size be hooking us up with their products. Their bundle deals are definitely underrated. And for some reason, I really just have been wanting to try more of the Sephora collection products. Um, I usually don't have any issues with them when I try them. So I definitely want to give this a try. And this is the Sephora Collection Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this is a 16 hour wear, transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. And it has ginseng extract. I'm definitely curious to see how this works on the skin. I'm definitely 
curious to see how it holds up against oily skin. This next brand was recommended to me by my boo, PR Firecracker, okay? Hey boo. So I did pick up this product. He absolutely swears, okay? He swears by the brand Glow Recipe. He does have dry skin, but let me tell you, his skin be skinning, okay? His skin always looks so amazing, and I am trying to get the Santos Glow, okay? I'm trying to get that PR Firecracker Glow. I want that beautiful skin. Um, so I picked up this Glow Recipe Best Seller Kit. So you do get the Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tightener. You get the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. You get the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, which he definitely wanted me to get. Um, but I wanted to just try a little bit of everything, so I picked up this kit. Um, you also get the avocado melt, which is a retinol eye cream, and you get a watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer. So you get 20 milliliters of the toner, 10 milliliters of the serum, 10 milliliters of the dew drops, 5 milliliters of the um, eye cream, and then... 15 milliliters of the moisturizer. So you basically get a bunch of minis in this set. It does look like this one's missing, but it's just like hiding in the cut, um, like stuck in there. Um, but yeah, that is this kit. The next item I picked up is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder, and it says for face and eyes. I definitely wanted to try to use this more as a primer. I picked up the Universal Shade. Part of me wanted to get the Tinted just to have a little bit more coverage, but let's start with the Translucent Shade. Um, this is a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. It's powered by cutting edge, blurring, Swedish technology, Upsolite, which visually creates soft focus effect on pores and fine lines. It says to tap with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. So I am very excited to try this. This is the packaging. It's very luxe. Um, it does have a built-in scooper and I just love that. You do twist it to open it, but I'm not gonna open it right now. But the packaging is giving. I love the color of it. I don't know, there's just something sexy about the color brown. Um, so I'm excited to try this. The girlies on TikTok and YouTube rave about this product. It is a highly recommended product, so I wanted to try it against my oily skin with my ginormous pores, okay? This has definitely been the year of blush for me, so I have picked up so many blushes, both high-end and drug store, and I have to say I love, love, love this product. And that is the One Size Cheek Clapper Blush Trio. I do have three of his blushes already, but I wanted to add a, another one. And the shade I picked up is Freaky Peach. So I wanted something orange, but not as orange as a fire starter. I don't need anything that intense. So just to have something more soft, I wanted to pick up this shade. I love, this is a baby pink component. I am in love with that. I love that the tab, um, that you can open the tab. You don't have to have a hard time opening it. It's very nail friendly. What I love most about this product in particular is you get a cream blush, a powder blush, and then a blush topper. So the next product I found per Tatanisha's recommendation and that is the Sephora Clear Brush Tip Eyelash Glue. 
and this stuff is so good i love this so much more than the duo um when i was using duo i found out that over time my lashes weren't holding and it just wasn't working like how it used to um so i have been loving this eyelash glue um so i picked two of the clear shades i also picked up two of the sephora lip stains and i picked up the shade 26 pretty auburn and this is perfect for the fall it's giving um fenty underdog um right now so i'm excited to see how this looks um i do have a couple other lip stains and i love that they're matte and they last long on the skin and i did pick up the shade 77 i was not expecting it to be this color but that is why you go in store to shop and not online um but this is what 77 looks like it's definitely um more like gray cool tone it was supposed to be more of a beige but you know it's okay i've been doing some cool tone looks so i feel like this lip is going to pair well with any type of cool tone eyeshadow looks and maybe i'll do a little lip swatch on my tiktok so if you don't follow me definitely follow me on tiktok i do different videos on there mostly swatches and things like that now we are down to the last couple of products so i have been going back and forth with whether i wanted to get this product or not and ultimately i picked it up of course and that product is the patrick ta major dimension 2 product and this is more of a pinky rose toned palette i do have the first major dimension eyeshadow palette um so i wanted to try this out the packaging is definitely giving mirror i wasn't expecting to see the mirror i thought they changed the packaging on this but that is fine i don't mind looking at myself you know these are the shades they are definitely perfect. His shimmer formula is so beautiful. And a lot of people said that this shimmer formula in particular is better than the first. And I love me a pinky rose gold look. So I am so excited to try these out. I love the deep plum and that they do give like more of a pinky gold in here. And I love all these shades and it is perfect to pair with the first um patrick ta major dimension palette so i feel like combined go great together this next product is new to the market and honestly when i first saw the promo pics online i was not interested but this is the last product and it's an eyeshadow palette and i picked up the anastasia beverly hills rose metal eyeshadow palette um, the packaging is very like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's really nice. And I love that this is a nice packaging. You do get the little borders on the bottom. Um, I love that. And this is going to be easy to clean. I saw this palette in person and it looked so so beautiful these are the shades so it's a very warm toned palette i honestly was torn between this and the nouveau palette but i feel like the only thing that made me want to get the nouveau palette was that light purple shade and i have that light purple color in other palettes so and it was mostly green and i have enough green and i don't wear green that often so i thought this palette was definitely more up my alley that concludes my sephora holiday saving haul and i got one more package coming in y'all like let me know what you guys picked up let me know what products you're excited for me to try i won't be featuring all of these products on my channel some of them i will be featuring on my tiktok so if you don't follow me follow me on tiktok the handle is the same as my youtube makeup life by shy so definitely check me out on tiktok and thank you so much for watching i know that this video was extremely long um but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video
Bye, guys.